Well, hello everyone and welcome back here to Plants vs Zombies. And... Well... We don't have a huge amount of opposition here this time round, to be honest with you. I think the worst and most annoying one is going to be the Pogo Zombie. But we can deal with that one quite easily by taking the Tall Nut instead of the Walnut. So let's just do that. We'll take one of those, we will take one of those as our basic firepower. We'll take the planter to deal with the uh, the fog, lily pad because otherwise we can't put things down, and the cat tail is going to be our watery defence. That's all we really need there. We'll take the tall nut, and that pretty much leaves us with well, we can take whatever we want at this point. I think. I think what we will take is the repeater. That would be a nice upgrade for the puff shrooms, and we'll take we'll take squash because I like him. Let's rock. <coughs> Excuse me. So right, start off our usual way. We don't have a rake this time. We need to visit the shop. So we'll start off our usual way by putting sunlight down and putting down puff shrooms to deal with the zombies when they're coming. We don't know where they're coming at this point, so it might actually be worth saving up for a, uh, a squash at this point. Probably not going to get enough in time, but let's see what we can do. Oh, actually, one more will do it. There's our one more. Okay, so... There he is. Alright, let's squash him. Uh, it's a little bit of a waste, but still. The only good zombie is a flat zombie. Let's be honest. Okay, and... Second push room in there. A bit more sunlight. Okay, it looks like the onslaught is starting. Stick you there. Another one of those. Okay, let's get the plant these out and then we'll put down some planters to get some light in the area. There's a zombie coming. I want to see where he is before I actually put down that puff stream. There he is. There we go. some of these now. There we go. Right, now it's our basic level of defense, at least uh, on land, so let's get down. I think those guys are going to need a little bit of help with a conehead zombie. So what we need to do now, I think, is start building up to get some cattails down. Save up for a squash. Brains. Hello. Mm -hmm. There we go. Brains. And that's that guy dealt with. Okay, I wanted to put one of those there anyway. Okay, so, right. Pick that there. There we go. That'll help us out there. Brilliant. Let's get another planter in down. There, now we can see what's coming. Okay. Right, I'd like to get a walnut in front of that. Tall nut in front of that. There we go, that's perfect. Now what I want to do is save up for another uh, cattail. Which shouldn't take too long now, now these mushrooms are growing. 
That's something he's got in the water. And he's going to regret that very soon. I want 250 is what I want. So another three. If it's sunlight. One more. There we go. Perfect. Right. And fantastic. Okay, now what I want to do is get more tool nuts and start putting down some repeaters. Just in time, because I've just noticed we're just about to have a large wave of zombies come visit us. So let's chuck you there. And let's see if we can get a repeater down here. Other than that, we seem to be doing alright. Oh, can't deal with you, so let's just squash you instead. Marvellous. Pop you hardly seems worth putting you there. There doesn't seem to be anything coming down that aisle, so let's pop you there. You don't gotta last much longer. Okay, and I didn't really need to worry about that one. Now the cattails are just going to help us out there. Marvellous. They're not going to last very long at all now, are they? Uh, there you go. That's level 4-8, I think. Oh, there we go. The magnet. Magnet room. Removes helmets and other metal objects from zombies. I do like that one. And we'll probably use it next level. But until then, I've been Simon Parsons. This has been Plants vs Zombies. Thank you, and good night.